thank you so much for coming out today and sharing your love of math. Of course, it was I'm amazing. The inspiring. audience is really, really receptive. Great. So what would be your take home message you want people to get when they see your talk? Well, I think I said it multiple times. It was play, power, and passion. I think whatever you do in life, it's very, very important to like take it playfully. Yeah. Uh, so, and playfully doesn't mean not serious. It just means that you have fun with whatever you're doing. Power is just realize that I think whatever you're doing will lead to something meaningful. And passion is like you have to be driven by something which is true to yourself. So for me, it was mathematics. And I've since mathematics lies at the heart of so many disciplines, I think it's very key to learn mathematics. But then like, people need to find play, power, and passion in all that they do. Looks like I, I'd be interested to tug, in that, tug on that a little bit. Mm -hmm. So can you share what was your moment like when you realized it is math that intersects between those three, like power, play, and passion? Um, How did you know? So I think, I, I don't think there was like one moment per se. It was just, uh, I think it was mostly serendipity because I, I, I like math and I like things that were involved with it. And, but I think there was this other part of me that really, really wanted to like help people. So I like, I studied developmental economics and I was studying like computer science, ph uh, physics, even philosophy. So, and whatever I was doing, I think I used to find it's like roots were in mathematics. and. I think I was astounded by it, and it was like, whoa, this uh, field cuts through all other disciplines, and people re really need to like develop those skills. Even for language learning, like you see all the logic in there and the structure. So math is just this like thought process almost that helps you structure and represent different things in a logical and systematic way, so you can like, be like, oh, I understand this. This is how I can do it. Mm -hmm. So I think that's when I was like, I think math is really, really key. It sounds like you exposed yourself to so many different fields and then found that one underlying. Yeah, it was like, whoa, it's, it's one thing I can use to understand everything because like, I don't think I can study everything in the world, but I can study one thing and then use it to help me understand different things. Mm. Wow, <laughs> I hope I get that insight soon. <laughs> I hope I get that too. I seem to say it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Okay, so I'm dying to know. I loved the videos of the people playing the game and you know, visualize math and like games. When is that coming out? Like, so where can we get more information? So it's already developed. It's actually open source. Like, all the code is on GitHub. The application right now is for the Microsoft Hololens, okay. um, and not that's not uh, like that accessible. And we made it because Hololens is this um, future device that like. Um, like gives you a real like embedded experience, a mixed reality experience. And we know it's not available to a lot of people, but we wanted to get a true experience of how it would be like to be in this environment with a headset like that. And like, I think if you look in the future, these will be like really cheaply available. But what we are doing right now to accommodate like the urgent need is to prototype for Android devices. And you've heard about Pixel phones so they can make augmented reality possible. So we'll make uh, like a slightly toned down version of it for the Android devices so people can have access to it. And I think that's the goal is to get it to people because like there's no point keeping it in the lab. That's why I'm here talking about it. Yeah, I would want to see like all the schools have it. Like, yeah. I want to learn math like that. Well, 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 definitely. I think starting this December, that's what I'm going to work on is like having it on an Android phone so people can like play with it wherever they want. Like. Just like they play with Pokemon Go, they can just play with math in their real world on their phones. Yeah, and it'd be so cool if it was actually part of the curriculum as well. Yeah, I think uh, so. Google has this stuff where they do expeditions and they use AR phones in uh, classrooms. I think using it for math would be really, really key as well. Okay, well, I hope if I have kids that they'll be <laughs> playing with their kids. But my sister is having one pretty soon, so I think I hope he gets to use it, and that's Aww. how I want him to learn it. Okay. Great. Well, thank you so much thank for coming you. in. Yay. Thanks so much.